everyone, so today's video is going to be a video that I've gotten so many questions about and I wanted to film it because number one, I think that many girls and guys need to hear this and number two, I will also have a little bit of tips, a little some tips for you if you're interested. But um, on so many of my weight loss videos, I get so many comments about stretch marks. Um, do I have stretch marks? Um, how did I get rid of my stretch marks? And the honest answer is I have stretch marks and I don't let them bother me. I will show you my stretch marks right now to get it out in the open. I don't know if you guys can see the stretch marks, but I do have stretch marks. And stretch marks are part of almost everyone's life, whether you're skinny or um, heavier. You will likely get stretch marks at some point in your life, whether it's because you've gained weight or lost weight, whether you're pregnant. Stretch marks happen, and I honestly never have really let it bother me. Um, I'm going to read you what causes stretch marks because I figured that would be might be beneficial. So. These colorful marks most commonly end up on several areas, including the stomach, thighs, hips, breasts, upper arms, lower back, or shoulders. And you know what? It says, stretch marks often accompany a change in your body. They can occur pretty much everywhere, but they occur on like everyone. So I get a lot of questions. Oh, I also, um, I wish I could show, find a way to show this to you without it being like very graphic because I have like tons of stretch marks on my inner thigh. I don't know if you guys... Hello, Michael Jackson. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have tons of stretch marks in this area. And these are my comfy shorts, so that's why I'm wearing gray on gray. Honestly, I never thought to film a video like this because it never occurred to me that they were an issue. But I realized that so many people felt so self-conscious about their stretch marks. And honestly, they have never bothered me because the way I look at it is like, you know, you know that saying like a tiger earns its stripes and I feel like it's kind of true in that sense. I feel like I earn these stretch marks. Like everything in my life that has led me up to now has happened because of this. Like I even have some on my arms like in certain areas. So I have stretch marks all over the place and I know a lot of people can be very self-conscious about stretch marks and I get it. I mean, there's these white marks, but honestly, I've never met someone who came up to me and was like, do you have stretch marks? Yeah. Oh, we can't be your friend. If they are a big deal to someone or a guy or a girl or whoever you're seeing or hanging out with, um, that you don't need them in your life because if they care about stretch marks, that's really, really superficial and odd. It's odd that they care about stretch marks. A lot of people ask me like how to get rid of stretch marks and I had to think about that because for when I remember there was a point when I was younger and I really was self-conscious about these stretch marks on my thighs because one time when I was in Greece, my cousin Harry, he he was like, what are on your thighs? Are those like spider veins? And I was like, no, they're stretch marks. And obviously when you're younger, you're a little bit more self-conscious. Um, and even now, sometimes I'll look at, I don't I forget about it, but sometimes if I'm walking into the shower and I see them, I'll be like, oh, those are there. But I'm never like, oh, gotta get rid of them. So you can get rid of stretch marks it's definitely possible i'm sure you've been seeing this frank bod thing floating around on instagram which i am interested to see um like if it works but i i'm not that desperate to like get it shipped to me from australia so if you are really bothered by your stretch marks you can obviously there are different ways for you to remove them one of the most probably mainstream ways which i know a lot of people use is bio oil and you can get that at the drugstore it's a little bit expensive like maybe under 20 dollars, but around there and you can just put it on the on them like I think maybe twice a day. If you want to like combat your stretch marks and don't want to use an oil or something, you can use retinoid creams, uh, but it's not recommended for those who are pregnant, so you pregnant ladies cannot use it. Um, if you're watching, you shouldn't. But you can use them, and they're called Retin-A, Renova, Tazerac, or Differin, which I've heard of, surprisingly. But honestly, own your stretch marks. I mean, if you have an excessive amount I can kind of understand why you'd be self-conscious, but to some people, I may have an excessive, excessive amount, but it just goes to show that no one's body is perfect. I know so many of you guys send me messages and are like, oh, I can't wait to get to your stage and your weight loss, and you're so lucky, like everything that you've gone through and you're there, but no, I'm nowhere near done on my journey. I mean, I have a long ways to go. You still have to work hard. And I have stretch marks, you guys saw. I have it on my hips, I have it on my legs, I have it some on my arms, boobs. 
stretch marks are just a part of life. And there's a fact on here that says, if your mother had stretch marks when she was pregnant, you'll probably get them when you're pregnant. And if you had stretch marks during your teen years, you're likely to get them during pregnancy. So, I mean, I have a very fun future with stretch marks. Uh, but I don't let that bother me because it's really not who I am. Like, people are not going to be like, okay, everyone with stretch marks got to get on the left and everyone with stretch, without stretch marks got on the right. Like, there's no separation for you to be even worried about. And so I guess the, this point of this video, I feel like I'm just rambling on and on and on and talking about stretch marks, is don't let it bother you. There are ways to, like, fade them and maybe not have them so prominent, but who cares? It's your body. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not like you're missing gashes and chunks of your leg and just own it. Just don't even care. Like no one's going to be looking with a magnifying glass looking for stretch marks, especially in summer. Trust me. I have not once had, when I wear shorts and I wear short shorts, um, I've not once had someone come up to me and say, oh, you have stretch marks. No one cares and no one notices. So don't let it bother you. I know it's hard because it's on you and everything. It feels like when you're looking at yourself has a goddamn magnifying glass. But like I said, if you are really interested in getting your stretch marks faded or removed, I will leave the product name. But with that said, I'm going to let you guys go and I just want you all to know that no one is perfect and everyone has stretch marks most of the time. Um, also, also though, I just want to add is that cocoa butter is very good for stretch marks is if you're pregnant especially, but also like in general to prevent them on you. So now that I've rambled on, I hope that made some sort of sense and that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. With your spoon, just even it out over the top.